Hey guys, it's Shayna, and since it's the holiday season, I thought it would be pretty fun to whip up some of my favorite Starbucks inspired holiday drinks. So let's go ahead and get started. One of my all time absolute favorites is the caramel apple spice cider. It's super simple to make. You're gonna need cinnamon apple spice tea or regular apple juice, brown sugar, cinnamon, and water. To begin, we're gonna make some cinnamon dolce syrup. You're gonna need one cup of brown sugar, one cup of water, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. This part is completely optional if you're using the tea. You'll wanna bring this to a boil over medium high heat and then transfer it to an airtight container like a mason jar. If you're using the cinnamon apple spice tea bag, you always have the option of putting it in the microwave. But if you're using the apple juice, you'll want to bring it to a boil on the stove. Either way, you'll want the drink to be boiling hot and add two to three teaspoons of the cinnamon dolce syrup and give it a good stir. After letting it boil for a minute, transfer the drink over to your container and let it cool down a bit. Of course, this drink would not be complete if we did not make the caramel topping. So go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter, a fourth a cup of white sugar, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and a few pinches of salt. Dissolve the butter, sugar, and salt over medium high heat. It should come to a boil and you'll want to stir it pretty frequently so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Once it comes to a boil, you'll want to add a fourth a cup of whole milk or whipping cream to the mix. Boil it for about three to four minutes, making sure you stir it every 10 seconds so that the milk does not overflow. Now that the drink has cooled down a bit, we're gonna add our whipped cream and drizzle the caramel topping all over it. And it's gonna end up looking like this and it tastes amazing. Next up, we're gonna make the peppermint cocochino which is my variation of Starbucks peppermint mocha. Since the real version has espresso in it, I decided to make a more kid-friendly version using hot chocolate. For this drink, you're gonna need a cup of water, some peppermints or peppermint extract, I just didn't have any, half a cup of milk, and you're also gonna need instant hot cocoa. We're gonna start by taking a few of the peppermints and dissolving it in a bit of water, which will give us our peppermint flavoring. To dissolve it, you'll just want to boil the peppermints in the water, stirring them very frequently so that they do not stick to the pan. Once the peppermints have dissolved, add your milk, water, and hot chocolate to the pan. You'll want to cook it over medium to medium high heat and mix it very well to make sure the chocolate has dissolved. Now I'm going to grab my Zen Pro Milk Frother and I'm gonna froth up some milk to add to this baby because you can't have a Starbucks inspired drink without froth milk. What I like to do is put the milk in the microwave for about 10 seconds before you start frothing and I turn the frother on to the highest speed and it takes about 15 seconds and it comes out looking like this. This is seriously one of the easiest and best frothers that I have ever used. After you transfer your peppermint hot chocolate to your cup, go ahead and top it off with a few heaping scoops of the froth milk. I also prefer to garnish this drink with a few pieces of crushed peppermint. Add a straw and you're ready to enjoy it. Finally, we're gonna make the fan favorite, which is pumpkin spice latte. Add a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. You want to make sure it's the pumpkin puree and not pumpkin filling. It does make a difference. Also add a tablespoon of vanilla, a fourth a tablespoon of pumpkin spice, and milk. I do have a recipe for you to make your own pumpkin spice over on the blog. Cook this on medium high heat until your milk starts to boil up. Don't let it overflow because it is a huge mess when it does. For this drink, you're gonna need espresso. So I prefer to use the instant kind because I don't drink it that often. You can use whatever one you want. You'll only need a fourth a cup of espresso and then add the pumpkin spice mix to that. Finally, we're gonna garnish it with a whole lot of whipped cream and add a little bit of pumpkin spice to the top for fanciness. 
all right guys so that's it let me know what your favorite starbucks drink is in the comments don't forget to like this video and don't be stingy share it with a friend also if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for do it now thanks for watching see you in the next one bye